Hello out there. So today I figured we'd try some kitchen drumming or kitchen percussion. And what you will need is to find two things that you can use as drumsticks. They could be wooden spoons, they could be metal spoons, anything that you can use to strike something that can be used as, as a drum. So I chose two plastic spatulas. And the other thing that you're going to need is something that you can play for your drum. Anything that you can strike that you can hit safely without damaging it. For this demonstration, I chose a small saucepan that's made out of metal. But there's lots of options. You could use a plastic bucket. You could use a box. Anything that's safe to hit. The first thing that we're going to go over is how to hold your sticks. And you're going to hold your drumsticks by pinching very gently between your thumb and your index finger like that. And you're going to hold each stick the same way so that you can play by using movement of your wrist like that. We're going to try an exercise that taps each stick to the top of your drum eight times. And we're going to start with your right hand. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, left hand. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Good job. Now let's try tapping four times. Four on your right and four on your left. And we're going to repeat that. Try it with me. Ready, play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right hand. One, two, three, four. Left hand. One, two, three, four. Good job. Let's try that again. We're going to start by playing four beats with your right hand and then four beats with your left hand and repeat. Try it with me. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right hand, one, two, three, four. Left hand, one, two, three, four. Excellent. Let's try exercise one with music. Exercise one, we're going to play eight beats with the right hand and then eight beats with the left hand. We're going to start with the right hand.
job. Let's try that again, but let's do exercise number two, which is four beats with your right hand, and then four beats with your left hand. Starting with your right hand, four beats. Ready? One. Left hand. Right hand. Left hand. Right hand. Left hand. Right hand. Now we're going to practice alternating hands. So we will play right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Try it with me. Ready? Go. Right. Excellent. Let's try that with music. Try another exercise that uses eighth notes. The rhythm that we're going to do is ta ti ti ta ta. Echo after me. Ta ti ti ta ta. Excellent. Or we can count it using numbers like this. One, two, and three, four. Say that. Echo after me. One, two, and three, four. Excellent job. For this pattern, we're going to play right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. Ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ta. Or one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four. Try it with me. Ready, play. Great job. Let's try it with music. Thank you. 
know, try creating maybe your own patterns and have fun playing with your own patterns. Here's a song that you can play too. job. So find a song to play along to and take a video or take some pictures and send them to me. I'd love to see them. Bye everybody.